Alex is on the roof. Uh, it's kind of scary. That, that's the ground. I'm on the ladder. I don't like it. But he's putting up those little spinny thingies. He'll show you. I'm not getting back up on here again. I'm just on the ladder. And then I'm going to get back down. But I got some sunflowers to get on the stand. So, yeah. It's pretty from up here. Well, it's prettier from up on the top. Yeah. Okay, Alex is cleaning out the gutter. So, he'll be right back to you. What's up, everybody? Uh, we're out here. It's a decent day, kind of cloudy, windy, definitely. Um, and of course, we choose today to be on top of the roof of the, uh, the hay barn, the Morin building. Um, for reference, there's the main barn. That's our haystack. So this is the main barn that we put all our hay in. Um, and we've had, we're just having problems with the hay. Um, you know, we're getting like the sweat on top of the hay. So we're thinking moisture problems in the barn. Uh, you know, we know we put hay away dry in here that we've dug into and it's just not, it's not, it just, it has like a, I want to say, I want to say like a musty smell, but I don't, it's not moldy. Um, it just doesn't, it's like it just hasn't been able to breathe. So, um, you know, we've tried leaving the doors open as much as we can and it just, it just is still kind of musty. So what we're doing today, I've already done two, but we're putting these turbine, I forget what the proper term, but the wind turbine ventilation uh, ducts or vents or whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, so we're doing three just to keep it kind of even. Um, this barn is, you know, almost 100 foot. So we got one. I've kind of just been following the lightning rods. Um, you know, we got one, one in from that, one right in the middle, and then we're going to do one more down there. Um, but it is amazing um, how much these, I just cut a hole in the roof, right? Uh, you know, cause I'll, well, I'll show you, but I cut a hole and I already saw, cause it's kind of, you know, spider webs and all that it was already sucking out. It was already blown out. Um, on occasion, you know, I watched these for a minute. You just see cobwebs flying out. I'm sure if we had a smoke, you know, a little smoke bombs, let them off. You'd see it kind of coming out so this is actually I think working pretty well um, I am gonna get that last one on and then I want to go inside and climb up the stack because um, usually you know you always have that once you get above the doorway it is so hot um, you know just because it doesn't breathe so you know I talked to, to Morton um, you know the people that built this for us before I was alive I think this is this barn was built in either the 80s or the 90s um, but they said, oh, the ridge vent, you know, it should carry all the moisture away. I'm like, it's just not. Um, obviously, you know, it's not an open ridge vent. You know, they do not have it sealed off, but it's just not. So we're doing this because we don't want our hay to go bad. Um, it has been a little uh, fun because there's like this dust layer. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's from paint wearing off or what, but... Um, you know, I was, I also went around, nailed down. There was a bunch of nail holes or nails that were kind of up just a little bit, just from where, um, suck those back in. So the washer was pressing on and I also cleaned out the gutter. That was pretty new. I think this is actually just replaced this spring. Um, or no, maybe last, but got that and also clean up some branches. So that's uh, a little easier to work with, but. We're going to get this last vent put on and uh, I'll show you how to do it. I definitely, you know, I can't speak yet, um, you know, on if it, you know, definitely works, definitely improved the ventilation, but I, I want to say so far it, it's, you know, doing pretty good. Um, you know, just from what I saw in that, you know, the air already coming out and, you know, the, see the winds whipping it pretty good. So that kind of sucks it out and hopefully, uh, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, the process basically, I use this, stick it up in there, get my circle, I'm gonna cut that out with a sawzall, and then I put that back on, screw it in, and I put that back on that, and then put the 
top on, screw it all together, and uh, caulk around the edges, and it's pretty set. So, check it out. So, uh, thought I'd say we just had gotten this, uh, this just picked it up from Lowe's. Um, it's this Airhawk brand, uh, you know, the, it's got the attic size and everything. Um, you know, I guess, you know, there's all the information. Um, you know, almost a thousand cube, cubic foot per minute on, uh, one of them so 3000 so it should should do uh, what we want to say the least um i don't think it's gonna hurt anything oh uh, we sh you know they shouldn't get rain in them they're all leveled up um but anyways i wanted to show you guys this is actually pretty handy um they came with like a guide you set up the roof you get the pitch um and then like that sets your horizontal here and then uh they actually have a number system that you line up with this mark and you put a screw in there and then you just rotate the top and it's really easy so yeah anybody can do it um if you have you know a hay barn and you're having moisture issues um you know the hay's not keeping well give this a try um you know i don't i'm not gonna say it works yet uh but i think it's it should help quite a bit get, just get that air moving get that mustiness out um because yeah, we had that first cut. We were bailing, you know, 12 around the borderline that we, uh, you know, did put the Silo King on also. And it's just not, it didn't, it, it smells a little musty. So I don't, some of the horses that we've taken into haven't had a problem. Um, but some people are, you know, they smell it and they're like, I don't want it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Hannah's going to go feed sunflowers to the cows. I don't know. What do you think? But anyways. We're going. Sounds good. So, we got him. As you can see there. Uh... I think it's sucking stuff out but yeah as you saw i mean they say there's a ridge vent i don't know how vented it is um because like it's sealed off so um yeah anyways now we got those up there hopefully uh you know we'll leave the doors open and hopefully it sucks the air out and now the air has somewhere to go up out um and hopefully it you know because the doors were like the top vented place because that ridge vent wasn't very open and we don't have much of an eave vent so there's just not i mean what air can get up behind there but we don't have much of an overhang on either side as you can see uh, that's the same on the back for ventilation so this barn just wasn't wasn't built for hay so i uh, you know it was built for machinery so just keeping the weather off but now hopefully it'll uh do a little better as hay storage so pretty easy didn't take long i mean once you do your first one you kind of get get it figured out uh and yeah you know should be good sat in there well and hopefully now this stuff will stay a little not as moist maybe maybe that's the right word but anyways we're uh, i think that's it for the day but we'll we see the babes. yeah Keep the babes. see you in the next one